guys in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful corset dress that has a lot of details on it okay so this is what it looks like let's head straight to it firstly you're going to be needing your basic bodies in full like from your shoulder to your hemline or to wherever you want your dress to stop so i had to fold it back to put it on fold so we can work on it all right so then i used my sleeve to impute the front to the front part of the bod basic bodice like so and i used my tape to hold it down the reason for this is so we can get that halter neckline and also the off shoulder design of the sleeve now bear in mind that my neckline for the basic bodies is on the basic so i'm going to be reducing half an inch from the shoulder and half an inch from the depth all right so i went ahead to retrace my new neckline and the whole of this part that i'm using a highlighter to mark x we are cutting it off now having done that the next thing we are going to do is to indicate the center of my sleeve which is what i'm marking out right now i'm going ahead to label front back so you guys can flow along with me then on the center i'm going to be marking 1.5 inches you can mark two inches the reason for this is because we do not want the sleeve to be too much off away from the shoulder having done that we are going to be contouring the shoulder as you can see from the screen the one we are recreating the shoulder was cut out so we are going to be contouring that part so it does not gap i'm going ahead to mark in my bust arc so that i can put in the amount of that intake on that very bust arc and that is what i've done right now so i'm using my ruler to connect the that intake measurement like so if you haven't subscribed to this channel at this point i will indulge you to do so so you can get updated on the latest way to draft basic bodies very effortlessly to become a pro in pattern drafting please do want to subscribe to this channel and like this video so the next thing i'm going to do is from our new neckline i'm going to be marking half an inch okay and then the depth of my halter neckline you can decide the depth here i'm using three inches now i'm going to be connecting this point to the three inch point and to the 1.5 inches center point of the sleeve thereby creating our halter neckline and connecting it to the off shoulder part of the sleeve and this whole part also i'm going to be cutting it away now on your bust line you're going to be marking zero point between 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 inches here i'm using 0 0.3 inches okay so now i'm going ahead to mark my bust circumference the reason why we're marking bust circumference is so it will give you a guide on how to impute the circle of your corset so you do not do guesswork all right especially for the over bust so you have something that is covering up your over bust properly by the time you're done making the dress so I haven't done that now. I'm going ahead to reduce the over bust by half an inch because I felt it was too up. So I'm going ahead to reduce it by half an inch. But you can decide to leave yours that way. Another reason why I reduced it by half an inch is so it can be in line with that 0 0.3 inches mark that we made at the bust line. So having done that, I'm going ahead to connect all the lines together to make this whole stuff visible. Please, you do not want to use a free hand. You want to use your French cuff so your circle can come out perfect, especially if you're a beginner. Do not use a free hand, use your French cuff, use your cuff drew so your circle can come out to be nice and perfect. And this is what I'm going ahead to do now. So now we're going ahead to cut out all the parts that I initially said we we're going to be cutting out, okay? So here I'm cutting out only for the front sleeve because we have not worked on the back. That is why you saw me starting from that point. We've not worked on the back. So this is what we're having right now. They're like, this is what this whole pattern looks like. We're going to be detaching the sleeve from the body so we can work on the bodies properly. 
Now here, after I've detached the sleeve, I'm going to have to open it up. Please do well to make sure that this dart, the contour dart, goes ahead to appear on the other side. Alright, because you're also going to be needing it. Now, the reason why we had to cut this in full, not on full, is because of that design that looks like a design at the waistline or something like that. That curved design where the corset, the boning went into, okay? Now, from this very part of my dart, I'm going ahead to curve this in. I used 7 inches here. You can use whatever measurement is that works for you. It's optional. There's no standard. And for this also, I'm going ahead to curve it all the way to this point. And with my highlighter, I'm going to make this whole thing visible so you guys can see it properly. So this is the main reason why we had to, we did not cut on fold. We had to cut this pattern in full so we can get that design. So having done that, I went ahead to fold it back on fold and we go ahead to work on the corset proper now. So now this is the whole part of the corset where the yoke is going to start from. Whatever I'm doing now is where we are going to be attaching our yoke from. Sorry, I went extra mile. This is where the yoke is going to be starting from. Okay. So now we are going ahead to cut. So I went ahead to, you know, trace it out. Like I told you guys earlier, before we cut, you want to make sure you trace this out, please. So that it shows on the other side. So having done that, I'll go ahead to, you know, trace out the marked line at this other part. But if you have a tracing view, very simple. You can just use your tracing view. Then I'm going ahead now to cut, okay? Like I said, this whole part we're cutting out now is going to be our yoke for this design. The halter neck yoke. This is what we are cutting out right now. So I'm going to be cutting it out at this point. And of course, this is what it looks like. So do not forget, we have a contour dart that went into the yoke. And of course, we are going to be closing it up. So I'm going to have to impute my contour dart on this other side also. So we'll go ahead now to close up the contour dart. So we'll have a closely fitted dress. And nothing is going to be gapping anywhere. So I'm going to have to close this up. Same thing we are going to be doing to this side. We'll go ahead to close it up for this other side also. So I'm trying to make sure that everything is in alignment. As you can see, that part looks like it's kind of way bigger or longer. So you have to make sure everything is in alignment. So now this is what our yoke looks like. This is the perfect yoke that we need. So let's head back to the bodies. So I'm going ahead now to detach that lower part of it. So now let's work on this very part first. I'm also trying to make sure that this very part of the contour that appears on the other side. Please, it's very necessary so you don't do guesswork. So whatever you're doing on this side is also what you're doing on the other side, okay? I'm using my highlighter to show you guys that that is the dart for it. So here is that for it, and this is what this whole one looks like. Then we'll go ahead now to start manipulating to create the corsets, where the bonings are going to be. So that's what we're going to be doing right now.
I'm going ahead to cut open the space for the corset. So these are the two piece corset. So I decided to just give it a kind of a style line. So we don't just do the regular with the straight line that we have. I kind of give it a curved style line. And same thing we are going to be doing to the other side. Please, whatever you do to each of the corsets should also appear on the other side. So you have you, so you have a uniform design. I'm sorry for that. Whatever you do here should also appear on the other side. So you have a uniform design. And that is what I am doing right now. So I'm going ahead to draw it out. If you have your tracing wheel, it's very simple. You can just use your tracing wheel. But if you don't have your tracing wheel, you can do what I'm doing right now. So now we're closing up the dart. Firstly, I opened the side bust dart and I went ahead to close it up. Please do not forget, I have not cut on the star line. We are closing up the darts first before we start cutting on the star line. Then for the waistline also, I went ahead to close this up also like so. You can use an artificial breast cup to you know put this pattern after you've cut it under on your fabric on top of the artificial breast cup okay for a more defined and structured look so i'm gonna have to cut this up now that contour that on top we're gonna have to close cut it open and close it So this is what it's going to look like and this is how you're going to be sewing it up you know i'm going to have to label one two so i don't get confused which is going to be up and which is going to be down so i did it on both sides and i'll set them aside now working on the bodies proper you know some part of the side bust that went into this very particular area so you're going to be cutting it open and taping it closed so everything is in alignment when you're sewing your corset your breast cup when you're sewing it's okay so when you're seeing your corset cup, everything is in alignment. So go ahead to tape it down. And same thing also we're going to be doing to this side. So now I'm cutting off the darts, okay? Now you want to know that this very part is one of your boning channels, okay? Here that you have your darts is one of your boning channels. So just keep that in mind. Also, this very part where you have your dart is another boning channel, okay? You're also going to be imputing your boning on that side. And also your center front is a boning channel. Then additional burning channel on this very part where I marked blue marker, they are all burning channels, please. Everywhere I marked the blue channel, the blue marker, they are all burning channels. So for this part, it's very simple. You just have to cut the dart open. And then you go ahead to sew up the dart. All right, you're going to just sew it up so you can attach it to that part. Now, heading over to the back, which is actually very simple, okay? We are going to be getting that very part of the sleeve. Like I said before, we only cut out for the back, for the front, rather. So now we're going to work on the front. We only cut out the front, sorry. So now we're going to work on the back. And I'm going to have to tape down the sleeve like we did. Okay, so remember initially we removed half inch from our previous neckline for the front. We'll do the same thing for the back. Okay, and then we'll go ahead to check, check the depth of our halter neckline. Please here, I removed just half inch for the back. 
please it is one inch because for the front we removed initially half inch and we went ahead again to remove another half inch making it one so please it is one inch for the back in general whatever you're doing make sure that your shoulder for the front and back are the same that's just it so also for the sleeve make sure that the 1.5 you used for the front at the center sleeve is the same thing you're also going to be using for the back and i went ahead to connect them together and i'm going to be cutting it up like so I want to make sure everything is in alignment. This is what the sleeve looks like. This is the sleeve we need for this design. And for the back, that is all. You can decide to detach your upper bodies from the lower body separately, or you can decide to sew it together. Whatever way is going to come out nice. Just make sure you cut open your dart. And with your chalk, you're going to be transferring that very dart space onto your fabric while cutting out the pattern. So this is all we need for the back, okay? And that's all for this tutorial, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!